Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, how to download and install WinRAR and we will also learn how to compress files and folders through WinRAR. So it's a very easy process and let's go ahead and do that. So open any of your favorite browser. So here at the very top in the search icon, you just need to type WinRAR and hit enter. Please make sure that we only visit RAR. So here we have this download section at the left hand side. So WinRAR x64 64 bit. We also have for Linux, Mac OS. So I can see the very top one graphical and command line. So at the very top we will click on WinRAR x64 and a very small file will be downloaded which is only 3.3 megabytes. So once it is downloaded, we just need to open it and it will ask you to say yes and a window will appear like this. The destination folder will be C program files WinRAR. So if you have any good reason to change it, you can change it else leave as it is. And we just need to click on install and here associate WinRAR with. So you can make a check mark on ISO as well, but since the default doesn't have this ISO check mark, so I would not recommend to do that. If you wish to check mark ISO extension, you can do that. Now, once it is done, it will be installed in your computer and a new window will appear like this. You can drag this icon to your desktop like this and a shortcut will be created. Now, if I want to extract or if I want to compress, right click on the folder which we want and we just need to click on add to archive or add to test dot. You can also compress an email. So if I click on add to arc here, I can get archive format RAR4 or zip file. So you can select zip, you can name it and here you just need to click on that and a zip file has been created like this. Now in the same manner if you want to unzip it you just need to do a right click and you can simply click on extract to test and a folder will be created like this. So once we do a right click if we want to do a RAR so we can directly do test.rar if you want a different archive format then we can select RAR4 or zip in all formats so if you wish to set a password in archive format you can set the password i hope you have enjoyed this very short video i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day